Hello, 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 and welcome once again to Movies That Pop. I'm the Colonel. Let's see what popped up in theaters this week. Hey, kids, remember when the name M. Night Shyamalan held promise? And when you heard that name, you were assured a well-made, slow-paced, creepy, supernatural, or psychological thrill ride with some solid twists and turns? Well, those days are officially back with Split, a haunting, creepy thriller with a few knockout performances at its center. Split tells the story of three girls kidnapped from a mall parking lot and held prisoner by a horrific monster played here in a virtuoso turn by James McAvoy. His character, Kevin, has dissociative identity disorder and has charted 23 separate identities of which we only meet a few throughout the course of the film. Some of them are controlling, some of them are deceptive, and some of them are relatively harmless, like the one in which he assumes the mannerisms and intelligence level of a nine-year-old boy. Now, what begins as a fight-or-flight battle of wills for the resourceful girls becomes a sort of puzzle to figure out, especially for the lead girl, played by Anna Taylor-Joy of last year's The Witch. She is great here as Casey, a young woman with a worldview and perspective that sets her apart from the other two relatively normal other girls who are captured. We get flashbacks of her past at first, that don't seem to be relevant to the main story, but ultimately serve to explain her actions, her tactics, and her ultimate fate. And before you assume so, no, it doesn't all build to one of those M. Night Shyamalan patented, jaw-dropping, perspective-shifting, dramatic twists. But boy, oh boy, do these early flashbacks shed some light on how the story ultimately unfolds. Now, Split, as I mentioned, unfolds slowly and sort of morphs from a survival tale into a strange sort of a chess match due to Kevin's particular strength and weakness. He has different people living in him. Some of them can be outsmarted, some of them are actually quite moral and responsible, and some of them are unspeakably evil. While Casey and her friends attempt to deceive, outsmart, and ultimately escape their captor, we learn more about him from his psychiatrist, played by Betty Buckley. Now, her character is well-meaning, very intelligent, and not too easily outsmarted. I really enjoyed her, especially since when she's in the company of one of Kevin's personalities, you tend to fear for her safety every second that she spends in his company while she's probing him, pushing him to uncover the truth, and speculating to herself and to her colleagues just what terrifying things Kevin might ultimately be capable of. Now, Shyamalan's wheelhouse has always been slow, methodical storytelling with copious amounts of exposition sprinkled in there. When it's done well, it pays off in a satisfying way, and it's incredibly effective. Split is one of the ones that's made incredibly well. It builds while it gives you information, and near the end it does ask you to sort of indulge the movie, to sort of trust in the payoff, while the story goes to places that you may not be comfortable with it going. I can assure you, if you take the leap, it is worth taking the ride. The climax of this movie was terrifying, engaging, and completely satisfying. And its very last shot, look, smack somebody in the face if they dare to spoil it for you, elevates the material even further, justifies the leaps that the movie previously asked you to take, and will make you reel at the implications. Extra large bag, well, well how about that? Extra large bag of popcorn for a January release from M. Night Shyamalan. Can you believe it? I can't believe it, but this movie is a top-tier thrill ride from a talented director and cast that will definitely keep you under its spell long after you've left the theater. Do yourself a favor and go see Split on opening weekend with a crowded theater and savor together the communal terror and surprise before any jerk face in the office ruins it for you on Monday morning. That does it for this edition of Movies That Pop. Don't forget to follow me, the Colonel, on Twitter at Movies That Pop. And click the icon right down there to visit our channel if you'd like to see more. And support us by clicking subscribe while you're there. And by clicking the thumbs up icon below. I'd like to hear your thoughts on Split in the comments section as well. But please, 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 keep them spoiler free, everyone. In the meantime, thanks for watching. I'm the Colonel. And the Beast is on the move. <gasps>